Hey, what's up guys? You're watching The Game Store. They call me The Game Store because I deliver. Be sure to hit the subscribe button there at the bottom for all Nintendo news, all the great updates. You want to get them right here. Also, like this video. It'll help out tremendously. So, it looks like there's a new rumor for the Nintendo Switch Pro and the power that's going to be inside. As if we needed more rumors. Let's dig right in. So to make a long story short, it looks like the Nintendo Switch Pro could make use of the Tegra Xavier and is unlikely to support 4K rendering. Now, when all these rumors are flying around, first of all, let me say that when you hear something like 4K rendering, that does not mean for the Nintendo Switch that a game is going to go into native 4K. What that means is there's probably video output that could possibly reach 4K or streaming services like Netflix. Just know that regardless of what's put in here, it's not going to have 4K native resolution. So let's just not get our hope up there. Uh, but there are new rumors that have been swirling around um, from South Korea. Uh, and this says, considering, you know, that manufacturing is switching to a new plan and there's a lot of leaks and all this stuff and new screens, um, it looks like the rumors indicate that the new Nintendo Switch model will make use of the Tegra SoC, which is a system on chip based off of the Volta GPU, which could be a Tegra Xavier that has a Caramel Octa-Core CPU. That means it will not use a new variant of the Tegra X1 that we've been talking about this entire time. Um, although the chip is more powerful, again, no 4K. Now, this chip specifically could support up to 1.4 teraflops and that's a pretty big deal however the nintendo switch pro will not have the sufficient power to do that as we've seen with the issues of the power right now in handheld mode especially in some of the heating in the dock mode they're going to have to seriously redo and they're going to have to seriously go back in and figure out more uh, cooling systems to help this if they want this to push that kind of power um, if we were to compare this to the Xbox One X or the PS4 Pro or something like that, it looks like it is going to come in close if this is the truth. And my personal belief is that if they get a handheld, handheld console to the power level of pushing a uh, above the base PS4 graphics, then that opens the door for third parties, that opens the door for the next gen. Yes, it will be a step down when it comes to looking at the PS5 and the new Xbox. However, if you the PS4 has some beautiful graphics. And if you can have that in handheld on that level, oh my gosh, that's going to be huge. Um, now, this being said, this Tegra Xavier could bring full HD to the new model. That means, uh, you know, pushing 1080p, 60 frames per second in handheld mode. And that's a big deal. That means all your shooters. That means Fortnite. That means all the things that you play. Uh, including Doom that's coming, that everything's gotten pushed back, which indicates that the system's coming and they're wanting to get their titles closer to the release of the system, which now is believed to be in the summer, even though I think they're going to announce it early and make it a big thing about their fiscal year next year. Um, this looks really, really good. And I'm excited about the idea uh, that this is exactly what it is. Tegra Xavier is a big deal. I think that this is going to be a great chip for the console. And I'm very excited now about the possibility of this being even remotely close to the PS4 Pro or the Xbox One X. Okay, going into next gen, I think this is going to work out great for Nintendo because let's face it, Nintendo games run better. Third parties run better. There's going to be more, 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 and people are going to buy the crap out of this thing. Now, the only question is, what is it going to cost? Let me know in the comments below how you feel about these rumors. Let me know how you feel about Nintendo Switch Pro. Are you ready to upgrade? Do you think Nintendo is going to do this? Be sure to like and subscribe. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you next time. Game Stalk. Delivering news, reviews, and playthroughs like a newborn baby.